Yo, what's up everybody? Old School Danny here and Merry Christmas. I hope you guys had some great holidays. It's still Christmas. I'm recording this on Christmas. And it's because it's, it's been a while since I did a video. But in today's video, I want to talk about Reg Park's weird split routine. Now, there's nothing really weird about this routine. I just thought it was an interesting type of split. I'm pretty sure it's a, lot, it's a split you guys heard of before. But it's just something I want to share with you. I actually pulled it out of the Reg Park Mission Universe course that you guys bought. I'm, I'm saying you guys bought it because you guys are the ones that deliver the views, the comments, and all that stuff, all the support. So I really appreciate that. So you guys paid for it, and it comes to me. So I use the money to buy content for you guys. You know, it's all it's kind of, it's, everything's being reinvested. Like just recently, I purchased four to five old school magazines because I just got I just got paid from YouTube. It was like 112 bucks, and I bought four or five magazines. So much some some content with Serge Bray, Lyra Colbert. Um, I forgot who the other guys were. Damn it, man. I think I got Chet Jordan on there, too. I try to pull up some stuff on Chet Jordan, but that's going to be coming up pretty soon. That should be coming on the 27th or the 5th of January, so coming up pretty soon. So when I get in the mail, let you guys know about it, do some little bit of, you know, video reviews or whatever. But anyways, I want to do the, I want to I get started with the video. So let's get, let's get started. <laughs> All right, so the split goes as follows. Monday, legs, chest, and triceps. Tuesday, shoulders back and biceps and you rest Wednesday and the cycle continues so on Thursday you would do legs chest and triceps Friday shoulders back and biceps and then you would rest the weekend so when I first saw this routine I almost thought it was an upper body lower body split when I looked into it more I was like oh you know legs and chest you know kind of a weird combination but I, I think I saw in Arnold's one of Arnold's early books that he wrote there's actually a legs and chest routine in there. So I, will, I found that interesting as well. I'm pretty sure that routine is it's, is Reg Park inspired. So anyways, let's move on to the actual routine, you know, the sets, reps, and exercises. All right, so keep in mind, this is actually Reg Park's advanced routine because he did train full body. And I know he trained a different style. I think it was shoulders and arms and maybe back and chest or in legs, but I can't. Can't fully remember, but I know John John, his son, talked about one of the routines he did other than full body. So that gives us three variations, meaning the one that John John talked about, which I totally forgot. I made a, I made a video about it, and we got full body, and then we got his advanced routine right here, which is legs, chest, and triceps, um, back, shoulders, and biceps. So now let's start off with the Monday workout, legs, chest, and triceps. So you got a full squat. Four sets of 10 reps and in between those sets of squats you're going to perform, perform one set of light pullovers with a barbell four sets of 10 repetitions and i'm and right below the full squat in the book it says pullovers on bench feet up so i'm pretty sure and it doesn't list any any sets or reps so i'm pretty sure it's referring to the the pullovers that are being being done in between the sets of squats i'm almost 100 percent sure so after that you're going to do the toe raise which is the toe raise is just standing calf raises, or it says with a partner, meaning that's just donkey calf raises. Toe raise with it means calf raises that are donkey donkey calf raises. Sorry, donkey calf raises, or you can do um calf machine calf raises. Six sets of forty reps. Sorry, I got super confused there. I don't know why. I just finished eating dinner. I don't know what's wrong. But um, then we got bench press. On this one, he doesn't specify reps, but I'm pretty sure you can be safe to say it's either four sets of 10 reps or four sets of a reps then also the same thing with lateral raise line lateral raise line is equivalent to what we call nowadays as the uh, dumbbell fly you know flies whatever you want to call it but also it doesn't specify the reps safe to say let's just say four sets of 10 reps four sets of eight it looks like that's what the uh, theme is around here then we got triceps curl line which is the equivalent to what we call the tricep extension or we call it skull crushers. Then we got the French curl standing, which we call also the tricep extension, the standing tricep extension, or to what we call, you know, um, it's just like a standing skull crusher, you know, the bar goes behind your head and you kind of push it back over. The French curl. Then we got sit-ups on an incline bench or leg raises on the chin-up bar. So that it, that is it for the legs, chest, and triceps workout. What do you guys think about that? I thought the, um, the uh, calf, work is optimal you know six sets of 40 reps that's a lot of reps but then again um 
and Vince Durant had to talk about that higher reps for uh, calves are more advanced, but he also he um, Vince Durant recommends at least twenty repetitions and nothing below that. He researched on himself. He's like, I've I've done everything below twenty reps. I did twelve reps. I did fifteen reps. Ten reps, and I found that twenty reps works the best for calves. And out of all those school bodybuilding books I've read, it's always twenty reps. So that's the magic number. But you can also do thirty, forty, like it also like it says in Red Park's book. Um, Red Park and his full body workouts goes as low as ten reps, goes to twenty, does thirty, and now I'm first seeing forty. All right, so that was the legs, chest, and tricep workout on Monday. Let's move on to the Tuesday workout. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for now the shoulders, back, and biceps workout. The Tuesday workout. We're gonna start the workout off, workout off with the press behind the neck or behind the neck press, four sets of eight repetitions. We got dumbbell press, three sets of six. Now he doesn't specify whether it's seated or standing, but I'm pretty sure he's referring to standing. Um, then we got lateral raise standing. You know, just lateral raises, three sets of eight reps, bent over rowing, <clears throat> equivalent to the barbell row, bent over row, whatever you want to call it, four sets of five reps, chinning the bar. Equivalent to what we call chin-ups, chins, pull-ups, four sets of 10 repetitions. Then we got barbell curls, three sets of six repetitions. Incline dumbbell curls, three sets of eight. Seated dumbbell curl. He doesn't specify the rest, but it's safe to say that it could either be three sets of six or three sets of eight repetitions. Now, personally to me, I feel like the leg workout could use a little bit more volume, more variation, because it's literally just one leg exercise and um one for calves so I'd, I'd probably add in another like another you know quad exercise or at least hamstring exercise you know but um that's my opinion you know that's that's something i would prefer because you know i know my weaknesses i know i need more hamstrings and i would probably add in some like leg curls some remaining deadlifts and for these shoulders back and biceps workout i would take out at least one or two Shoulder exercises probably just have one or if anything just have two and lower down the volume to maybe like two sets of eight, two sets of six. Just because I know my shoulders are a dominant muscle group. Because when I was competing, I I worked on them so hard because my coach was like, all right, so you're doing men's physique. So you need to work on your back, chest, and shoulders. Make sure those are really good. So I worked them super hard and then my shoulders became like coconuts. And then now it's kind of cursed because now they're taking a lot of the damage. When I'm working biceps, triceps, or like doing any any um movement, pretty much my shoulder my shoulders kind of take over. So it's kind of a blessing and a curse. Everybody likes big, broad shoulders, but sometimes when you get them, um, it's not as great as you want them to be, you know, because it starts ruining other things, you know. Especially because I'm a I'm a big uh, emphasis on proportion, balance, aesthetics, symmetry, you know. But um, I'll probably take off uh behind the next uh, and actually behind the neck press is pretty good. Probably take off dumbbell press. And leave the lateral raise on there and probably just drop the volume a little bit but other than that probably take out one one the seated dumbbell curl leave the incline dumbbell curls leave the barbell curls and that's it because i feel like three three exercises for biceps is way too much i don't you don't really need that many it's a small muscle you, know, you only need probably like one one or two exercises to hit it pretty decently and that's it but other than that Workout looks pretty decent. I thought it was an interesting split. Um, it's not upper body, lower body. It's not full body. It's not chest, shoulder. It's not chest and arms. I mean, it's not. I'm sorry. It's not shoulders and arms. Not chest and back. Not legs. It's a shoulders, back, and biceps workout. Leg, tr legs, triceps, and chest workout, which is interesting. All right. So if you're wondering where I got this information from, you know all my sources are legit. All the stuff we buy, you guys buy, that I just bring up on and make content on. Is all just accounted for. So I got this from the Res Park Mission Universe course, weight training course, page 27. If you ever buy this book, you can look it up yourself. Um, but I'll try to post this on my Facebook Facebook group. I'm sorry I haven't been posting on there very often because I don't know. It's just that not a, a lot of my traffic isn't from there. It's mostly just from YouTube and Instagram. So I try to pay attention to more of that stuff. But um, I want to talk about the stuff I'll be receiving in the mail pretty soon from the. Uh, Oh yeah, eBay, because I got, let me see, Muscular Development, Bodybuilding John Grimmick, um, this one's 11.25, um, it should be here on the uh, 27th of the 4th of January, but this has information on John Grimmick, um, we got the uh, 
Chet Jordan. This one was like six bucks. Um, we got some information on Chet Jordan coming up, I believe so. Because sometimes when I purchase the magazines, is I, I try to look at the contents of what's gonna be inside of it. That way, I don't just buy information with just like, like see this magazine right here. It could just be a picture of Red Park, but inside the booklet, there could be no information on Red Park, which kind of sucks. Because I was like, dude, well if he's on the cover, there's gotta be information on him, right? But it's not the way it works. So we got Chet Jordan. We also have the uh, Serge Bray. This one was like fifteen bucks. Um, what's the other one? Could have swore I bought another one. I bought another one, but um, I think I bought like two more. But I don't know if they popped up my email or they even the order went through yet. But anyways, that's gonna be coming up pretty soon, probably in the twenty seventh or the fourth of January. Whenever the magazines come in, we'll be uh, I'll be making some videos on that too. But uh, yeah, pretty excited for that for that to come on in um, to learn more about Sergio Bray, John Grimmick, Chat Jordan. You know some rare bodybuilders you don't really a lot of read a lot of information on so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it today it felt pretty good i don't know why but it felt pretty good maybe because i called out from work to spend time with my family for christmas but i'm not sure but anyways thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it um subscribe for more videos like this give this video a thumbs up i'm all school dan i'm gone peace